Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. Oh, yay. It's time for another reading. So let's go ahead and dive in. This is for, of course, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and it's always welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with the Gemini, and the message could be for you directly. So feel free to take out however it resonates with you and your situation. If you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. I appreciate that so, so, so much. So, Gem, let me just get one more. <laughs> no way. No, I'm going to put those back. <gasps> Gem, this is good. Oh my, okay, I'm so excited. This is literally the first reading I've had that's been really positive. So let's see what comes out for you guys. Let me just grab one more card. I almost don't want to in a way, but because that's so positive that we've got coming out there. But let me see. Okay. Um, it could be a water sign that you could be dealing with. And I, I'm going to take this two different ways, okay? So let me, again, just pull one last card just to see if we can clarify this. Just a titch more. Come on, Jen. Dude, why do you guys keep doing that? Oh, that's the one I'm going to take. All right. Okay, we have got the Magician, and I love it. So what I want to say with this combo, um, Gemini, I think that there's someone either you have met or you're about to meet um, it, that is a very positive connection between the two of you. For some reason, I want to say that this is two different people, like you and someone else, okay? This this could be you, right? Very in, This is intellect, talent, intuitive, manifesting, strong willpower. So I feel like there's someone that you're dealing with and both of you are highly intuitive. Like I said, it could be a water sign, just throwing that out there, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But there is a very magical and a deep emotional connection that you're feeling with someone and it is very positive. That's why positive success, productivity, achievement, abundance. There's someone that you're met and you're feeling really excited about the connection. Like you're, um, it's starting to light you up. And it's really cool because it's almost like this person came into your experience because you've done a lot of work on yourself, Gem. And because of that, it's like you came into perfect alignment with this person. So now you guys are maybe going to manifest things together because we've got that magician that's all about manifestation. That's about taking all of the elements, right? The air, earth, water, fire, and being able to manipulate the 3D into a creation, okay? So let's see what comes out for you guys. This is really good. I'm actually kind of relieved because everyone's readings have been just a tad bit depressing. I mean, they've been good because it looks like everyone's going through endings and cycle closings and so that's awesome, but yours looks really positive, Gemini. I'm really excited. So let's see what comes out here. Yeah, so look at that. We've got the Six of Swords, you moving on to better things. Like that's where it is. So you guys have probably come out of some period where things were really dark, those turbulent waters, right? Things may have been a little bit chaotic, maybe dealing with some depression or just some thought, like some conflict, right? Because right before it is always the five and the fives are about conflict. So you guys might be moving away from a no-win situation, relationship, whatever that is. And now, man, things are going well. Here we've got the two of wands, which I am going to take it straight up, is that you guys might actually be traveling with that combination. That's <laughs> moving on. That six of swords can be travel. That two of wands is travel. So you guys might actually be moving somewhere different. You might be, um, this is about independent travel as well, but that too is also about a connection. And look at how we've got the chariot on the bottom. You guys are moving, like moving forward, moving in a different direction. Um, 
And it's like, finally, you are coming out of a dark period. Like, so good. Oh, I love this. So let's see what else comes out. Oh, that one was flipping. Okay, yeah. So Page of Pentacles, you guys might be finding like a new way to make money. Okay, that could be like a new experience that's coming in to provide you a way to make some money. Maybe like, uh, let me get a little more clarification and see what else comes out. No, not quite. There's a few too many that popped out. Yeah. Uh, this is awesome. So there's seven of cups and just with the overall feel of this card, it's like doors are opening up for you. You almost might be at a place where you're like tr deciding between which direction to go. Do you know what I mean? Like you're still deciding um, because there's a lot of ways that you can do what you're wanting to do, whatever this is, this new thing that you're trying to manifest or in maybe this connection, this person that you're working with. I'm just saying that too because of that two of wands. That can be a partnership. And maybe you guys have similar passions. And maybe it's about coming together to make money. There's like all of these different ways that you're talking about how to do this. How to go about like manifesting this. But that's what you're on the path to. You like, you're in the mode right now gem of manifesting something huge and there we've got the page of cups so there's that look how you got two pages so you're still kind of like in student energy right pages are, are all about student learning like you're maybe a bit of a novice you're you're starting out which makes sense to me if you've got like tons of options that you're choosing between because you're trying to narrow it down to one thing one thing that's gonna like be both emotionally fulfilling, right? This is new creative ideas and, and things that inspire you or light you up and then making, manifesting something in the material by doing that, okay? So huge, huge like message there. And what I wanna say when with the hanged man, I wanna put that with that seven of cups a little bit because you're, I think you're feeling a little bit stuck just it's not negative just because of all this it's feeling really good but with that seven of cups i feel like you're maybe um whenever you get caught up in your head and caught like just in how many options there are that's what puts you in this stuck mode and this is all about getting a perspective shift so you need to view it in another way okay and what i'm going to recommend to you guys um, so here's this wheel of fortune and look at on the bottom here, there's queen of pentacles. So you guys are going to be making money in some way, shape or form. And what I would say, gem is just dive in, like just start playing around and doing certain things. Um, and you'll figure it out. That's that student energy. Like you're, you're going to learn each time you can't do anything wrong with this and you'll grow from things not working out or what something rejecting you, you'll grow. And you'll care less and less. So just dive in. Because that this is the Wheel of Fortune where everything's going to be going in your favor. But this is the part I feel like gets you hung up just a little bit. Is just all the options that you're deciding between, okay? So let me pull out next your doors that are opening. Which is perfect with, I mean, it all looks really good and positive anyway because we've got that six of swords that's you moving on so let's see what we're opening up to for you gem oh that one okay and then let me just get one more yeah that's perfect interesting so i'm going to take those two we have got, there's your beautiful doors. What's opening up? 
interesting forgive and forget i was not expecting that at all a ritual cleansing of pain and lies arise and awaken see a new sunrise so that might be a thing that you are leaving okay gemini for those of you that that applies to you but this is awesome so we've got trust the universe intuition has wandered and led you astray the timing's not yours but the universe at play have faith and breathe. So I think that's kind of coming out to clarify that hanged man, which is perfect. What I think is happening is again, there's just this little bit, you need to like have trust that everything is working out in perfect time, timing and divine timing. You're going to get the realizations that you need to, that you need at the perfect time. Okay. And it's going to all, that's what our experiences are. They're all learning experiences that accumulate. And then there's like these pivotal moments in time where we receive some type of perspective shift or something finally filters into our being, into our vibration. And then we understand everything to a whole. So maybe for some of you, if you are still working on forgiving certain people, you need to trust like that certain things are going to come to light at the perfect time for your own process and healing and for whatever this person, maybe even for some of you, just because of that will of fortune, that can be karma. So maybe that's a little bit a part of you feeling stuck is maybe there was a connection that you've moved on from and it's still kind of influencing you a little bit. And maybe you're like wondering, are they going to get their karma? And it's none of your business. <laughs> like I'm, I'm just going to say that I've been there too, where I'm like, oh, are they going to get karma? And it is none of your business. It's it that will be their own energy. That's up to them. Just let it be. Everything takes care of itself. Trust the universe and just have faith. Breathe. Let everything happen as it's supposed to. I was not expecting it to go in that direction, but hey, I guess that's just what was supposed to come out. So Gem, I'm going to dive into this further in the extended. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Uh, just go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you on the other side. But Gem, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care.